the strange case of William West and William West that resulted in the use of fingerprinting in the criminal justice system. In 1903, a new inmate named William West arrived at the prison in Leavenworth, Kansas. The prison's records clerk thought this man looked oddly familiar. Even though West had never been jailed there before, prison officials were convinced that they had seen him previously. After further questioning, the records clerk decided to dig up some older files and sure enough, found a file from 1901 on William West. The one problem was that the William West from the 1901 file was still in prison. It turns out that William West and William West were two separate people who happened to look strikingly similar to one another. The only way that prison officials could differentiate between the two was by using their fingerprints. Initially, prison officials were trying to identify both men using a now obsolete system called the Bertillon system, which is based on the lengths and sizes of a series of body parts. At the time, this was the standard system for documenting and identifying criminals. However, the Berkeley system measurements for William West and William West were exactly alike. Soon after this case of mistaken identity occurred, fingerprinting quickly became the standard in every aspect of the criminal justice system. Until next time, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Press the bell to be notified of future uploads. Thank you for watching.